Daedalus, and Icarus. One day, Daedalus was working. Icarus was watching his father. Daedalus was building something. Daedalus had a pot of hot wax and some string. He also had some sticks and a large bag. The bag was tied at the top. There was also something on the ground. It was under a large cover. What are you doing, father? Icarus asked. Daedalus stopped his work. He stood up straight. I'm making something special. With it, we can escape from Crete, he said. It is something that even Minos cannot stop. Father? Icarus said. What is this thing? How will it help us to escape? Daedalus untied the bag. He put his hand into it. Then he pulled out a bird's feather. We will fly like birds, he said. <gasps> Wonderful, Icarus said with a smile. Then he frowned. <gasps> but father, we cannot fly. His father smiled. <laughs> it is true, we cannot fly. Not yet anyway, but you will see. We will fly, and we will fly away from this island, and we will leave Crete forever. Daedalus took Icarus by the hand. He led him to the cover. He removed the cover. On the ground were some strange things. They were stick frames covered in feathers. What are these, father? Icarus asked. I will show you, Daedalus said. Daedalus picked up one of the frames. He tied it to his right arm. Then he tied the other frame to his left arm. Icarus was suddenly excited. <gasps> Wings! Father, you look like a bird! He said. And like a bird, I will fly, Daedalus said. Daedalus began to move his arms like a bird. Soon, he was flying above the island. Icarus could not believe his eyes. It seemed to be magic. Then Daedalus returned to the ground. We will use these wings, he said. We will fly away from this island. Now, you must help me. We must make some wings for you. So, they began to make more wings. They tied together some sticks. Then they had a frame. They tied feathers to the frame. They used both short feathers and long feathers. The feathers were held with string and wax. Finally, the frame was covered with feathers. Now they were ready to escape from Crete. Daedalus and Icarus put on their wings. Daedalus told Icarus what to do. This is very important, Daedalus said. You must take the middle path. 
Don't fly too low. If you do, the waves of the ocean will catch you. Then you will drown. If you fly too high, the sun will melt the wax. You will lose the large feathers. If that happens, you will fall into the sea and die. I will take the middle path, father, Icarus said. So they both began to move their arms like birds, and like birds, they began to fly. Soon they were over the sea. They were leaving Crete and King Minos. Flying felt wonderful to Icarus. He soon forgot his father's warning. He began to fly higher and higher. He felt as free as a bird. Daedalus looked up and saw his son flying into danger. He called to him, "Icarus, Icarus!" Come down! You are too high. It is dangerous. But Icarus could not hear him. He was too far away. Icarus continued to go higher in the sky. The sun began to melt the wax on his wings. At first, one feather fell. But Icarus did not see it. Then other feathers fell. Soon the wings would not support him. Icarus began to fall from the sky. As he fell, he called out to his father. Oh, oh, father, help me! Oh, catch me! But there was nothing Daedalus could do. He could only watch his son fall into the sea and drown. Daedalus could not stop flying. He had to continue on with a broken heart. And the sea where Icarus died now has his name. Today. That sea is called the Icarian Sea.